Hope you're having an amazing day. Happy Tuesday. It's April 2nd, 2024 and right now it is 3.31 p.m. New York time. Outside temperature is 47 Fahrenheit which is 8 degrees Celsius and it's raining. Next few days it's gonna be rain and wet weather here in New York City. On the other hand, most of the cherry trees are already in peak bloom. So we are kind of losing hope to see a gorgeous cherry blossom. But hopefully after this rain, there will be some pallet left on the trees. But in this video, I might want to walk inside the Central Park to see the update of the cherry blossom there. So if you just join, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. And without further ado, let's get started. Before I start this live video, I made two rain walk. So people who love my rain videos there will be an amazing i mean two amazing rain walk i'll try my best to post every single day on april uh, first video will be premiered around like 11 a.m eastern standard time and apart from that there will be a live stream so yeah feel free to join on the premiere every morning like 11 a.m eastern standard time where we can chat the video will be pre-recorded but the chat is live so sometimes i am present in the chat i will replay you so yeah yeah emily all over new york city right now magnolias and cherries are in peak bloom like not peak but well enough to enjoy it I love this early hour live stream. So basically I'm heading towards north right now, towards Central Park. Right right now I'm here where you see the musical. Start my video. It's gonna be a fun like update about cherry blossom from Central Park, but there will be a separate cherry blossom video about Central Park. And yeah. But I think in the rain, it's it will be fun, you know? It will be fun to walk inside the park and see all those pretty trees. Yeah, Lean, I am early. I want to make some rain videos. Like, usually what happens when I do my live, it's mostly late evening. And, oh my gosh, this honk. That's crazy. The bus got stuck behind that car and it's keep honking. Come on. I can't even talk. Shut the hell off, bus. <laughs> my goodness. So as I was saying that I usually do my live in the evening. So I miss a lot of rain walks, especially morning rain walks. See, this bus is right here stuck and there is a car parked in front of the bus. 
and now he's taking photos probably the guy will get a ticket because that's a no standing zone and bus had camera they can take your photo and a ticket will be mailed to your address and the driver is sitting inside but he's not even moving how crazy good luck with your ticket dude you're gonna get one for sure see again and also while i was filming my rain videos i saw a taxi on a bike lane how crazy i mean people are so rush it was a lot of rain but now it's much better and I'm using my new umbrella gifted by my viewers Charlotte this is a pretty nice umbrella so far it can hold the wind and it's not causing any pain to my hands because I like this grip this grip is much better than my umbrella that I got from Amazon and also that's very inconvenient it's too huge to walk with but this one I can just put it in my backpack and forget about that so thank you Chala yeah me too I still miss my green umbrella though but this might be your new best buddy or our best buddy this umbrella it's also gorgeous hey Manny explorers how are you doing Manny long time no see by the way guys hit the like button if you just join I may not able to replay all of you due to some limitation my both hands are busy whatever chat pop up on my screen if that contain any important question concern I try to respond as soon as I can oops we got several seconds Yeah, I like that flower print that I recently got from Amazon that umbrella but the only thing the grip is not good I think I had to find a new one I'll just return that umbrella that's the beauty of Amazon you can return anything it's not even a month but I can return it and get a new one Amazon got a pretty good business tactic oh gotta run Sal, Alex, good to see you guys You're from Central Park. That was a pretty solid connection card. Horn, horn, horn. A 
It's a busy Tuesday afternoon right now. I like this kind of rain weather because it's not super windy and you can actually enjoy the rain to be honest. So I'm enjoying my rain walk so far. Hey Brenda Jackson, thank you so much. Have a great day Brenda, appreciate that. Let me see if I can rotate my camera. Hey there, Brenda. Thank you so much. Thanks for the support and enjoy the show. Thank you. Uh oh. No car, so I can cross. There we go, that's Central Park. First thing first, I'm gonna walk toward the Cherry Hill. Because that's where you will see most of the cherry trees right now. Also slowly a lot of trees are starting to get green green leaves. gonna be a soothing relaxing walk inside Central Park because it's not a lot of people there That's good. The rain is picking up right now. I love it. No horse carriage here. No pedicabs. <laughs> You remember last time after that flash flood um, I showed you one of the arch here at Central Park it's not too far from here that got flooded that was pretty fun to watch oh look at these fresh new leaves Ooh, welcome spring Beautiful daffodils are here. Darciana saying my mother and daughter was there this weekend. Oh wow, hope they enjoyed the weather. This is a very exclusive video, people who love nature, like Center Park is always the best like therapeutic place to calm your soul, to forget about all the stress you have in the middle of the city with all those colorful flowers, trees, greeneries, green will makes you happy. So if you are going through any hardship, any stress, my suggestion or recommendation, like try to get close to green color. Green will make you calm, 
green will make you feel better. Maybe you can paint your wall green. Green color always the best. Uh, Gen Claus, basically if you overwater your citrus or lemon plants, they're gonna die. They don't like to sit wet. They like uh, drying out in between watering. So don't overwater your lemon tree or don't underwater your lemon tree. Like do a knuckle test, like put your finger and if it's too knuckle dry, like if you feel it dry, up to two knuckle then water it otherwise don't water so this is how you test when should you water your potted lemon plants a horse carriage over there I can see also Central Park is a great park in order to look for a lot of different types of birds You can come here with your long range camera and you can admire, look for different types of birds. It's not too cold, but the only reason I wear my hat because I got a long hair, I need a haircut, but I got a long hair and usually what happened when you are out in a long time in a rainy weather, water drips to your hair and that will mix my hair wet and I'm gonna get sick. So to protect my hair and head, I wear a hat. So it keeps me dry and I can like enjoy my rainy walk. So it's not, too cold here right now. It's a nice weather. They're planting new uh, evergreen bushes, I mean tree right there. Yeah, Central Park is a melting pot for a lot of movies, TV shows. because it's 843 acres. I'm gonna walk here to avoid that. That's over there, Central Park Carousel. Yeah, Central Park do have a carousel as well. I did a ride on my live stream last year, I think. I'm gonna do it this year as well. Don't worry about that. Uh, Feltis, this is a part of New York City. It's maintained by NYC Park, Park Department. Right there. 
the Jane's Carousel. I mean, what's wrong with me? Central Park Carousel. It's not Jen Carousel. But I love Jen, Jen's Carousel. I'm gonna try to minimize or minimum my narration so that you can enjoy the weather. But I will do point out things that I will feel like I should explain. What a view. I doubt right now, I don't think so in these 843 acres of land more than 200 people are here. <laughs> it would be less than 200 people inside this central park right now. Beautiful. Right here, Tavern on the Green, very iconic. Cherry tree starts, guys. There is a huge one up next, right near the ship, ship meadows. There are a few near the Tavern on the Green. But this one, Sheep Meadows one, wow. Sheep Meadows, it's a like huge, gigantic green field. Oh, you can see the traffic through Central Park right here. There are few through street that you can drive in between Central Park and this is one of them.
Yeah, Yvonne, rain, snow, good weather, bad weather. Each time Central Park has a unique different vibe. This is Sheep Meadows. Right now it's closed, but soon you will see thousands of people are here enjoying the hot summer day here in New York City. I'm gonna give that tour as well, right here, Sheep Meadows. But look at this. Beautiful. Looks like a painting. You see in that this direction? Wow. See a lot of pellets here in the ground. It does feel like an Alice in the Wonderland. Cherry blossom is very quick and especially it sucks when the weather is like that after the bloom because then it even shard. Yeah, imagine it's right over there. newly sodded lawn but they saw it need some time to establish roots but look at this beautiful sod right here watching this video live you are lucky to get a exclusive tour of Central Park in the rain but don't worry who are watching replay I, I understand sometimes you guys could enjoy live but thanks for watching the replays as well the seventh regiment memorial of 1861 to 1865 right here This is truly amazing. In the rain, it's even better. People always wanna enjoy the cherry blossom in a good weather, but rainy weather, it could be even more romantic, more pretty than you, you can imagine. This is just a demo. I'm not even showed you the actual like the cherry blossom side. Make sure you share this video with your friends and families.
and you guys can follow the same direction as I took for the video to see the best of cherry blossom rather than just strolling different direction un unwillingly or unknownly sods right here look at it this is one of the best strike rainy days so far in 2024 i'm enjoying it 100 percent i hope you guys uh enjoy enjoying this video as well like this is the best uh rainy day so far in 2024 the atmosphere the condition the amount of rain the amount of like wind everything is like on my favor top notch Also another good thing that my feet are not soaked. <laughs> I think that's that's why I feel better because my feet are still dry with my new boat. So here we are officially made into the Cherry Hill. A lot of first face of cherry trees are start to bloom right here. but not like 200% Here, this is Cherry Hill Fountain and the gorgeous Cherry Hill. El Dorado on the background, right there. I think in next a few days, when the rain will gone, it will be popped back look at it no one is here i gotta take that advantage they see cherry hill cherry hill bloom update it's already in bloom uh -oh. i think that better it's already in bloom right now fresh new bloom
Okay. And now let's take some photo from this side. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. See how many cherry trees are right here. It's so gorgeous. Let me see what I can get from this side. Can I get El Dorado? Yep. Obviously, I can. It would be a very rare that I will have that opportunity right here. The whole central park for myself you know so i'm just taking all the advantage so follow me on instagram to see the reels So take all the advantage, like walk in the morning when no one is here. Like this is expectation. A lot of people will watch my video and they will expect to be right here in Central Park. But in real life, it will be not like this. Trust me. Perfect. You know what? Let me take some selfie as well. Uh oh, where is Cherry? Let me do some pose. Okay. Where should I put my camera? Before anyone come here. Was my pose. I'm so tempted to see that. No, I don't leave you guys. Uh, I'm not a model, but I try. that expectation for a lot of you guys so don't worry a lot of flowers still need to bloom it's not it's peak 
100%, but it started to bloom right now, as you can see. It's not like 100%, but it's getting there, you know? Yep, I feel myself a king of Central Park today. Literally, no one is here. I am the king of Central Park. <laughs> Anyone here? No, no one here. It's only me. It's my park. And gorgeous Bow Bridge. A shampoo, shampoo, shampoo. Sorry, I pronounced you wrong. But thank you so much for your generous twenty dollar. Saying thank you for this rain walk in the Central Park. It is beautiful and peaceful. Thank you so much. Uh, thanks for your generosity. I appreciate that. It's all by myself, but I hope you guys enjoying it. Look at it. That's so pretty. No one is here. It's just me getting wet here at Central Park. And thank you. Thanks for your support. Appreciate that. Let me try some shot this way. Let's go, folks. Let's uh, walk towards. Uh oh, I lost my umbrella. Come on. Let's uh, let's walk towards uh, the Bethesda fountain and see some uh, more cherry trees over there. Perhaps magnolias as well. The water is full. Hopefully, the road will not flood it. Uh, Bow Bridge recently gone through some major renovation, but now it's open again. In this lake, you can do a boat ride, and a lot of people get married right here into this bridge, right, right here. As I say, give it three, four days. Uh, all the cherry tree will be in peak bloom. Here, old bridge. Look, it feels brand new it is brand new look at all this new shiny wood Kindly hit that like button guys if you're enjoying it. It will definitely like motivate me to get out and make some more videos like this on extreme weather. 
Can anyone spot uh, Central Park Tower? This video I'll be, I will remember the rest of my life. One of the most amazing and most memorable video I have ever made inside Center Park. Literally, I feel so happy. Usually, I love people, but for some reason, today I'm happy to be here alone with 600 of you guys. This is Turtle Pond. You see all those boats over there? You can basically ride a boat here in this lake. And I think three or four days ago, this Bethesda fountain turned on by the park members. So the fountain is on. And the magnolias right here are not in peak bloom. I posted a reel on my Instagram, the NYC Walking Show. It got over 400,000 views. In order to get the same view or vibe, you had to wait at least max a week. But they are getting there. All these uh, magnolias are getting there. Uh oh, that's not a good thing. How could I even cross? I can't jump. Look at it. Now what the solution? I think I find a solution right here. I'll go this way. And then I'm gonna use this. <laughs> Look at this. The mound of water right here into these puddles. Unbelievable. Angel of the water. That's Bethesda Terrace. Always some performance. You will see a lot of turtles are here but not right now you can actually feed them if you add food for them they enjoy your food yeah there is a music v there there is a performance happening inside of the bethesda terrace yeah brenda i do had a nice boot rain boot right here but i don't want to make it like nasty with all those mud water you know this boot is right now new shiny and i don't want to fill that boot with all those mud and stuff <laughs> and i had to get home using public transportation <laughs> people will thought i'm crazy <laughs> so here are you ready for another set of cherry blossom See, these magnolias are not like ready yet. Okay, here we are. No, people are not singing. There is basically a live musician or street performer. Got to go. Keep walking. Now, oh my good lord, that upsetting. Look at all these flower pellets. Ah. 
that's not good. Look what rain caused right here. But it looks nice, magical. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sending me another uh, beautiful or uh, generous support via coffee. Appreciate that. Thank you. You're so kind. Yeah, they are very delicate, very, very delicate. Delicate flowers. They're struggling with all those water right here. But this one looks fine. One thing, a pro tip, whenever you are walking in this lawn, any lawn, um, just be careful of dog poop because a lot of people don't clean after their dog. So it will be super nasty if you step one of those so be careful while you are walking here maybe you will be so excited and want to take a lot of photos but imagine walking with a dog <laughs> dog poop uh -uh. a huge no a huge huge no <laughs> it smells horrible i had that experience before <laughs> it's from my personal experience uh, so keep that in mind Most of the time, dog lawns are separate, but still some people will walk with their dog, you know? And uh, yeah. This one looks freshly clean. I'm gonna come back here, but let's walk this way. I saw a lot of them here. Do, 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 do. After these, uh, the Kuanjian cherry trees will start to bloom. That's personally my favorite cherry trees, but I I do love them like this. But Kuanjian are my like number one priority. I wish I had a huge backyard with so many Kuanjian cherry trees over there. That would be a nice cherry walk right here. Wow, loving it. Hey there, Jenny. Jenny, thank you so much. Have a great evening. I had no words to beyond, I mean, describe this beauty. It's beyond my word. Look at it. Just look at this beauty right here. Thank you so much, Lauren. Uh, truly appreciate that. Lauren Novak for a really generous donation via PayPal. Thank you so much, Lauren. If you're watching this video, I just look at my phone and thank you so much, Lauren. Have a great day.
this is like so unique. Never seen anything like this. Let me see if my wide angle works better. Just hold tight, guys. I'm gonna quickly. Uh oh, now you can see it better. Yeah, indeed, I want to visit Japan uh, to see cherry blossom. I know I'm going to love it. It's been my long time desire to visit Japan during the Shakura, I mean during Cherry Blossom, that's what it's called, Shakura, right? Hey there, Kristen. Thank you so much, Kristen. Appreciate that. Have a great day. Thank you, Kristen. This is so far my best place to just roam around. Look at that. Like, I'm, oh, actually it looks much better. Uh oh no, thing. Let me see, how could I? Mm, let me get outside. Oh, that's what you call. I love flowers. They are so pretty, so delicate. Now a lot of people are taking the advantage, taking some photos right here. I'm in love with the flower. <laughs> Uh, Patricia saying near 59th Street. That's a very good question. So if you want to know where you are and not sure, just get a help one of these lampposts. It will tell you what what is your nearest cross street. And let me see if it has the number. It should be. Uh, if not this one, then try the another one. Because a lot of time what, what happened when you are inside Center Park, you're not sure that what is your nearest cross street. Maybe your phone connection doesn't work. Then look for any of these lampposts. They had four digit number, every lamppost. It should be. If not, maybe there are some issue. Maybe it get lost. I don't see any of these here as well. 
maybe I can try the other one. But usually what happened, this should have four digit number. The first two digit will tell you what is your nearest cross street. And the last two digit, if it's odd, that means you are on the west side. But if it's even, that means you're on the east side here. So see? always so i'm near the 74th street that's my nearest cross street and it's a it's an even number that means i am on the east side but if it's last two digit it's odd that means you are on the west side but first two digit will tell you what is your nearest cross street so my nearest cross street is 74th street so this is 74th street and that's fifth avenue over there i'm on the east side right near the Ellison in the Wonderland. Sometimes you have to like look closely. It sometimes overlapped, but most of the time what happened, it always had numbers. That's the Ellison in the Wonderland. Right over there. And such a gorgeous magnolias. Whoo! Look at it. See, this one also had number to clean my lens so hold on guys uh -oh. that's much better nice and clean after that we're gonna walk towards 72nd street where you will see more cherry trees at least in the wonderland sculpture No, cross street is East 74. I'm near the 5th Avenue. Ah, this one, oh my God. Hopefully this tree will recover. Look at it. Hey, Allison, yeah, there you are. Describe the beauty of this tree to me. Isn't it just a art? Imagine sitting one of these brands and take some photo under this cherry tree. Absolutely breathtaking. Uh, even number are east, yes, and odd number are west, Angela. Last two digit. First two digit means nearest cross street. Last two digit, if it's even, that means you're on the east side. If it's odd, you are on the west side. This is the sweetest tree. Now let's head towards uh, the 72nd street. Where we'll see more cherry, cherry trees.
uh, does my camera looks a little bit blurry I don't know let me know guys if it looks a little bit blurry or had some fog I don't know I maybe try to clean it up again Hey there Marty, Marty with $5 saying thanks for being out there on a rainy day, I love seeing the blossom. Thank you so much Marty, appreciate that. Thank you so much Marty, appreciate that, I'm glad you're enjoying it, I myself enjoying it 100% but thank you, thank you so much. Sal saying it's fine, good to know Sal. <laughs> That's Steinway Tower halfway oh my god that's a unique experience look at the cloud imagine living on the top floor you on top of the clouds Uh, this water is not that deep uh, Max I would say that um, Four or five feet See, another lamppost, another four digit number, 7356 means I am heading towards 73rd street. This is a pretty helpful like thing. Imagine when Central Park was first made, there was no GPS like we do nowadays. So how people navigate inside these 400, sorry, 843 acres of land. These are the modern GPS. Yep, she had, she got a good pace. She's making circle. Now I make it really blur, vision blur. Clear vision now. Another best cherry blossom side. Right here. That's a kind lady cleaning his, I mean, her dog. Look at this view. Another centerpiece right here. A lot of people love to take photo here. It's called Pilgrim Hill.
How was this view, guys? Isn't it lovely? Oh. Uh, that's Pilgrim, father of uh, Plymouth Rock. That's Mr. Pilgrim. That's why this called uh, Pilgrim, uh, Pilgrim Hill. My bad. Sorry for that. This is basically to commemorate the landing of Pilgrim, the father of uh, Plymouth Rock. This area has uh, a specific name, Pilgrim Hill, because of this uh, sculpture. And there is a brief history. You can just take a look on the Google. Yes, Mr. Pilgrim. There are some wedding photo shoot gonna happen here. Perfect opportunity, perfect day. The bride and the groom is there. That would be a lovely spot to take some photos. Hey, hello. perfect wedding photo shoot spot just bear with me for a second I got a lovely shot right here Now, I think so far I showed you a lot of cherry blossom side here. Uh, let's get out of Center Park and I'm gonna head towards. I don't know, maybe towards my train station. When the weather will be better, I'm gonna come back here to show you more how it feels like. You will see whatever you seen today, it never gonna be like that anymore. Unless it's another rainy day. <laughs> there will be like thousands of people thousands this area will be packed with people so if you're watching this video right now live and expect to have central park like this empty and get your dreamy photo shoot that's not gonna happening unless it's a rainy day like this so i wish you all the best who wanna be here for the cherry blossom you're gonna love it 100% but try to be quick if you can make it when these cherry trees are blooming there will be another one Kwanzen so yeah there will be always something and this is 5th Avenue and 72nd Street. See? East 72nd Street. 5th Avenue is technically the middle ground for East and West. Yeah, it was one of the like fun video from Central Park in last five years of my video making uh, career I'm, just, I'm doing this YouTube for like 
five years but four years i'm very active but never had this kind of experience <laughs> especially inside central park so i gotta remember this i gotta mark this date in a calendar april 2nd 2024 Oh, look at this beautiful architecture. Technically, right now I am on Upper East Side, a wealthiest part of Manhattan, one of my favorite neighborhood. Ralph Lauren Coffee is uh, right at that corner. Indeed, Michael's spring is very beautiful. The best time. I can smell some coffee croissant right here. Ralph Lauren coffee. This is Madison Avenue and East 72nd Street. Also, one thing that makes New York City more pretty, these pear trees. These pear trees, they are blooming right now. They make it even extra beauty, beautiful. All right. This is 432 Park Avenue. Thank you. Oh, Angela R. The reason I say that I will remember the date because I enjoy my walk inside Central Park. It was mostly by myself which is very rare as i said i always love people want to be with people want to be filmed all the crowds but surprisingly today i felt that just for being myself alone inside central park enjoying all those cherry blossom in this romantic rainy weather definitely one of the best very poetic. Oh, I love this. The steam hose, the trees, the atmosphere. Yeah, this is one of the wealthiest part of Manhattan. You need a lot of money to afford right here. This is Park Avenue, by the way. I'm crossing Park Avenue. Midlife building in the distance. Uh, all these tulips, these are the tulip updates. Oh, I like that. I need one of these two wheeler, but I don't know how to balance. Need more practice. Whatever you've seen so far in TV, it might look very nice, relaxing, but I'm miserable right now. I'm all soaked, <laughs> cold, oh my god, but still loving it. And I had a long, long ride to my home. First, I had to take a train, then I had to drive. And right now, it's rush hour, an hour, <laughs> easily.
usually it should take 30 minutes but with all this traffic it's gonna be an hour <laughs> hour drive It's 4.53 p.m. New York time, 46 Fahrenheit. This is Lexington Avenue, by the way. Another thing I want to point out, whenever you will see this kind of like brown color street sign, it's a part of historic district. So this is Upper East Side Historic District. So whenever any, any neighborhood you are on, if you see this kind of brown street sign, that means it's a historic district. My beautiful yellow tulips. I'm gonna take six. I'm just trying to find a nice spot to end the video. Anyway, thank you so much everyone for joining tonight, I mean today's rainy walk from Manhattan. If you enjoy it, before you leave, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't. And I hope to see you all in another one. Till then, stay safe, stay positive and keep exploring New York City with me. Have a great day everyone. Bye. Thank you.